Today we're going to take a little tour around my master bathroom. It's a modern farmhouse style. It's not huge. It's only 10 foot by 11 foot, but I was able to put a lot of features in here. A walk-in shower is 4 foot by 7 foot. Even though I have a lot in here, it doesn't seem cramped. If you have a small space and you want to get a lot of features in it, take a walk around with me and I'll show you how I did it. When you come into the bathroom on the left is the vanity and the total length on that is seven feet. And I wanted that big walk-in shower that I didn't need a curtain or door for, so I turned it long ways and put it in the back left corner. Here's a little walk-in view of the shower. That left three feet for the toilet and that's kind of tucked away back there in that corner. The tub is on the right as you first come in the bathroom and it fits nicely in that space. Um, nothing is cramped and there's plenty of room to get around. Now let's talk about some of the details. The sink vanity is at really low to the floor. So we built a three inch platform to set it on top of and then we just covered the platform with the baseboard. Our heating and cooling vent was also under that cabinet. So we cut a hole in the bottom and put a vent plate on it and it works great and it frees up our floor space. After we moved in, I had my brother build these side cabinets. He did an amazing job. The doors match perfectly. Vanity is a dark brown and then I did the side cabinets in white. The good thing about these cabinets is they're nice and deep. And in this open space where I have these cubbies, not only can you put things in them and store things behind them. Us women tend to have a lot of things, so it's good to be able to hide those away. I also had him put outlets in each vanity. There's one on each side. This little makeup mirror is a great addition. It comes out, lights up, and you just tuck it away. In order to get the size tub I wanted, I could not do a swing-in door. So my brother built this amazing barn door, which really saves inside the bathroom because I put a lot in this small space. We have a window above the tub, so I got a motorized shade. Comes with a remote. That way I don't have to get in the tub or go around the tub. Let's close that shade. To charge this shade, um, all you have to do is get the cord and plug it in to that little plug right there. In the shower I designed so that we did not have to have a door or a shower curtain. And you can see there's a little lip right there to keep any water from coming out. So you go in and you turn and there's your shower. This wall I think is about a foot deep and we never have water come out into the bathroom. These shelves were the temporary stair treads on our house when they were building it. When they took them off, they put them on the burn pile. I grabbed them, made shelves out of them, and then I got these brackets from Amazon. So what do you think? I just love this bathroom. I love how functional and how pretty it is and how much I was able to get into this small space. So if you're getting ready to do a home renovation on your master bathroom, hopefully you've learned a little bit about how to better maximize the space that you have. So now go check out this loft bed that my husband and I built for our grandkids. They just love it. If you have any questions, shoot them down below in the comments. See you in the next video.